Danny Merrill, I want to read you a speech that the Prime Minister Kevin Rudd gave to Australia this past uh, Wednesday night. Muslims who want to live under Islamic law, Islamic Sharia law, were told on Wednesday to get out of Australia as the government targeted radicals in a bid to head off potential terror attacks. Separately, Howard angered some Australian Muslims on Wednesday by saying he supported spy agencies monitoring the nation's mosque. Quote, Immigrants, not Australians, must adapt. I want to repeat that. Immigrants, not Australians, must adapt. Can I please paraphrase that in the middle of this uh, uh, minister's speech? Uh, immigrants, not Americans, must adapt. Take it or leave it. I am tired of this nation worrying about whether we are offending some individual or their culture. Since the terrorist attacks on Valley, we have experienced a surge in patriotism by the majority of Australians. This culture has been developed over two centuries of struggles, trials, and victories by millions of men and women who have sought freedom. We speak mainly English, not Spanish, Lebanese, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, Russian, or any other language. Therefore, if you wish to become a part of our society, learn the language. Most Australians believe in God. This is not some Christian right-wing political push, but a fact, because Christian men and women on Christian principles founded this nation. And this is clearly documented. It is certainly appropriate to display it on the walls of our schools. If God offends you, then I suggest you consider another part of the world as your new home, because God is part of our culture. We will accept your beliefs and will not question why. All we ask is that you accept ours and live in harmony and peaceful enjoyment with us. This is our country, our land, and our lifestyle. And we will allow you every opportunity to enjoy all this. But once you are done complaining, whining, and griping about our flag, our pledge, our Christian beliefs, or our way of life, I highly encourage you to take advantage of one other great Australian freedom, the right to leave. Please let me paraphrase here. I enjoy those foreign people who live in America, Muslims or otherwise, take advantage of the freedom, the right to leave if you're not happy in the United States of America. If you aren't happy here, then leave. We didn't force you to come here. You asked to be here. So accept the country you accepted. Maybe if we circulate this, American citizens will find the backbone to start speaking and voicing the same truths. Amen. And I second amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our country, our flag, our culture. Why do, would you want a foreign individual to come in to our country and impose obligate us to observe his culture and his religion that he teaches that he's got to have a foot bath in the high school or in the college he's attending because he's a Muslim. Well, if he doesn't like our culture, leave. Go back to where you come from and wash your feet there. Thank you very much.